What's up guys? Uh, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another Afterthoughts video. So as many of you know, we are getting into that holiday season. And since there are no movies about Thanksgiving, we kind of just jump right to Christmas. Though I personally am really still excited for stuffing because it's my favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving. If you guys feel the same? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, there seems to be just a flow of Christmas movies on Netflix. I kind of feel that Netflix is a lot like Hallmark and that they just have so many movies that come out this time of year. Not complaining, but it's kind of funny. Anyways, I don't know about you guys, but I have been watching a ton of random Christmas movies on Netflix. And one of them, which we're going to talk about today, is Dash and Lily. I should note that this was actually a TV series. <laughs> it's like eight episodes. Totally thought it was a movie, but it's fine. First and foremost, if you are looking for a fun rom-com that is on the same wavelength as To All the Boys I've Loved Before, this show is for you. Let's just say me and my roommate stayed up until two o'clock in the morning because we watched the first two episodes and then we were like well we have to know what happened so we just stayed up until two o'clock in the morning to watch the entire thing so good but i'm also kind of biased because i really like rom-coms so keep that in mind so dash and lily is about these two teenagers who live in new york who start to fall in love while they're communicating through this journal. On the one hand, you have Dash, who is just this guy who wants to spend Christmas alone and kind of hates Christmas and hasn't been the same since his girlfriend broke up with him last year and like moved to Brazil. And on the other hand, you have Lily, who is a girl that loves Christmas, but is suddenly thrown off when all of her different family members decide to travel to different places for Christmas instead of spending Christmas together like they usually do. And miraculously, all of her family members have met their significant others via the Christmas season. <laughs> and so in order to find her own love story, and also convinced by her brother, <laughs> She decides to write a riddle of sorts to be solved uh, by your literature knowledge in a bookstore that her cousin owns. And lo and behold, Dash finds this journal and accepts the challenge. Over the course of this show, they start to give each other dares in the journal, such as like eating this pie that has cheese on it that they've never eaten before, or going to a class where you build something and then you break it. Uh, just stuff that kind of slowly but surely brings them out of their shells and helps them grow. It's almost as if they're like healing the other person. After they complete the dare, they write about how they felt when they did this dare and then they challenge the other to do a d another dare. I should mention that they have not actually met because they're communicating through this journal. So every time they do the dare, they leave it with somebody. And then when they, when like say Dash finished the dare and then he leaves it at this cafe and then Lily comes and picks it up and then she reads it and then she does the dare that he's challenged and then she dares him to do something else in return and leaves it in another place. I know, it's super unconventional, but trust me, it's super cute in action. <laughs> All right, guys, spoiler alert, coming your way. So, of course, because, you know, Dash has never been the same since his ex broke up with him, his ex decides to come back into his life and then he's starting to get mixed feelings because he really likes Lily, but then he's also, you know, so heartbroken over his ex and feelings. <laughs> but then he finally realizes, like, slash sorts out his feelings that even though he did like his ex and he still that there were feelings there while he was with his ex he was still thinking about lily so he's like i can't be with you because i'm thinking about her oh cute on the other hand lily's old school bully and former crush makes an appearance at first when he makes his entrance she gets super scared because she remembers how he made her feel and how like upset she was but then she does this like poetry slam stand where she's just like no i'm on a roll i'm gonna tell you how i feel and you're a terrible person and then he's like i was only 12 and then he invites her to a party like what and she says 
yes. Just letting you know, this is the part where me and my roommate were like, no, no. And then she gets super drunk because she finds out who Dash is. And she's like, well, you know, this party that her whatever invites her to, Dash is also there and they meet, but they didn't know that they met. And then she saw him leave with his ex. But then when she figured out it was him, she got super depressed and started drinking. By the way, I do not condone underage drinking. And so she gets super drunk and then she kisses the bully dude who's not right for her. And then the most heartbreaking moment of the entire show is when he kisses her. That's when Dash walks through the door. And then it does one of those really cool like reversal things when you see him leave with his ex and he's like kissing her but then he's like no that's when he realizes that he is with her but he's thinking about Lily. So that's when he's like no I like Lily so I'm gonna go after her. And then he finds her and then he sees her kissing the other guy. And then the cab ride scene when they're in the cab and they're talking and they're like arguing but not arguing because they're both like I liked you and I thought you were great and then this happened. Oh and then there's the whole moving to Fiji thing that her parents are like yeah, we're gonna move to Fiji next week. And then it's like, you're watching the last episode and you're thinking, that's it? They're just gonna decide that it was not right for them to be together or they thought of each other too highly because of this idea that they had built of each other in this notebook. And then she's like, well, I'm gonna move to Fiji so we're never gonna see each other ever again. And then on top of that, he decides that he's gonna fight for her and he leaves the notebook and her brother sees it and doesn't give it to her. He just hides it. If you can't tell, I got really emotional in this show. It was that good. I mean, at this point, I was in tears. I was like, I can't handle this. I already had a Julie and the Phantoms moment when I'm like, where the heck is my season two? I like can't, I can't. I don't want a season two, though. I mean, I take it back. Season two would be nice, but I don't know where it would go from here. But I was freaking out nonetheless. I mean, I had like a pillow to my, you know, if you're ever watching something and you just have a pillow like up here because you're trying to hide your face, but you still want to watch me. But then the ending was so good because her brother decided that he was going to send her the entry from the journal anyway. And she reads it and she's like, oh my gosh, I have to go to him because he set up all this cute stuff. So she runs out of the cab in the middle of New York traffic just to go to the bookstore where they first met, quote unquote. And then the whole thing where Dash finally learned that he was the one pushing everyone away and that it wasn't people distancing themselves from him. And he goes to a Jonas Brothers concert for his best friend and then all of his friends leave that concert to help him get Lily. Ah! Also, side note, I believe Nick Jonas was the one that produced this movie? Something like that, I don't know. But it would explain why the music in this show is so good. Also, I realize I said movie instead of show. But then they have that really cute scene in the bookstore when he's gotten like all the different foods that they've had each other try throughout the course of this show, that they've had like little representations of all the places they've been, and it's just super cute. And of course they like, finally talk to each other and they're like, yeah, we realize that we can't be on this pedestal that we've set each other up to be in the book that, or the notebook that we've been writing each other in, that this is reality, but they're like willing to make it work. And then they kiss and it's super cute. I, this just gave me like super Laura Jean vibes because I mean, because Lily is just like always talking about how she doesn't think that if Dash knew her in real life, he would like her as much, that she's not this cool person, that she's just this really like sweet girl who doesn't really have any friends her own age and just reads books all the time. But like, he also really loves books. And so like, they just get each other. I don't know. They like get each other without getting each other. They're like not on the same page, but they are on the same page. And she's always like worried because, you know, she knows that she's different. She knows that she's quote unquote weird, 
Um, but like weird in a good way, but she doesn't think it's weird in a good way. She thinks that people are always making fun of her. But I think that's why she gives me Laura Jean vibes because she's also incredibly relatable as a character. And at least for me, as a girl who spends lots of time reading and I mean, I do have friends, but like right now we just can't go see anybody. At least at the time of this recording, it is still covid quarantine 2020 but the rom-com lover and me and my roommate was just like we know we know in reality this will never happen but it's still super cute and I still wish it would happen in real life and that's why i love it anyways highly recommend 10 out of 10 so good please watch it if you have watched it, please let me know how it made you feel. Did you feel an emotional roller coaster about it, like me and my roommate? Did you also stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning to finish watching it because you just had to know what was going to happen at the end? Thank you for watching. I know I was a little bit more hyped um, for this video. I tend to talk more softly because I tend to get really self-conscious when I'm recording and I see my face on the screen. Uh, but I'm trying to be more relaxed, more open, more excited, more personable. So if you guys liked how excited I was for this video, let me know if I'm getting on the right track. Anyways, thanks for watching this Afterthoughts video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!